Samson is the modern day Ronnie Coleman, in my opinion. What's up, guys, and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start this video with Samson Dalda, who got such appraisal from none other than Sean Ray, who made appearance on Bob Shikarala's YouTube channel after a very long time. So previously, the great Ronnie Coleman himself said that Samson Dalda can become the next Ronnie. And now Sean Ray said that Samson Dalda, because of his height, his shape, his size, his insane aesthetics, he is the modern era Ronnie Coleman. And that is such a huge compliment. Conditioning and shape, if they meet on stage at the same time, nothing against Hottie, but he beats everybody. Hottie just happens to be the closest one that could rival him. So Samson Dalda posted a most muscular shot roughly two and a half weeks out of this year's Arnold. And I have to say he looks more detailed, more separate than ever. This is probably the best he has ever looked. And yet still he looks big and full as a house. And keep in mind, the Samson might be on the flat side. So I have to say it is going to come down to conditioning. If Milos is able to bring him in a lot sharper than the Olympia last year, we might be looking at a two times Arnold Classic champion. It's either going to be Samson, apples, or it's going to be hottie, oranges. I was there. I know the feeling. Now, as good as Hadi Chopin is, he isn't beating Samson in the symmetry round. It's Samson all day long. Yes, Samson is going to get beat in the both back shorts, but that is already given. So will shape and aesthetics win for Samson? Or will Hadi Chopin with that granite hardness and density triumph? Then let me know what you guys think. Hadi beat Samson. It's not a knock on Samson, but he'll beat him on condition. If Samson beats Hadi, he beats Hadi because he's a better, more complete bodybuilder. So this picture of Rafael Brandao is viral on all the bodybuilding pages. The sheer size of Rafael's delts and arms, I have to say, is looking scary. His coach Neil Hill is staying with him for another seven weeks, all the way till the Arnold Classic South America or Arnold Classic Brazil. I showed that Rafael won in 2022, and he is going to be the favorite to win it again. But right now, the goal is to just shock the bodybuilding world in two and a half weeks' time at the Arnold Classic Ohio State. So I have to say the expectations right now are extremely high for Rafael as he took this past year off to close that gap. That size gap between him and all the guys placing ahead of him at the Olympia level. So his coach seems to be extremely satisfied with Brandao and how he is looking at two and a half weeks out. And so is Rafael himself. So it is Neil Hale's first time working with Rafael. But remember, Neil Hale was the coach who helped Flex Lewis win seven 212 Mr. Olympia titles and that too in a row. And Flex Lewis was always on point when it comes to peaking. Next up is another very famous Brazilian, Ramondino from Classic Physique, looking absolutely incredible at 17 years out of his third Arnold Classic. So he made his Olympia debut in 2021, placed top 5, that was the only time Urs Lezinski beat him. And going by how the judges placed these guys at this past Mr. Olympia, and at the Arnold Classic last year, and the Olympia 2022 as well. Urs is gonna be his main competition. But we haven't seen any physique updates from Urs since the Olympia last year. He is staying under the radar, or under covers to be more precise. But still, he is fully focused to finish this prep on a high note. And he is ready to give Ramon Dino a run for his money here. As for Ramon, there is a lot of roundness and density in his physique. That is really missing from Urs. Ramon has no weaknesses. He is complete from every angle. And Chris Asito has been working with him long enough to know his body. Ramon has been bang on target every single time when he steps on stage. He always brings that rock solid conditioning. And in the last two years, he has continued to improve in that department. And his luck at this past Mr. Olympia was his best ever. So can anyone stop him from being two times Arnold Classic champion? The way Brian Asley has been looking lately, I have to say, he can't be a real dark horse here. But do let me know what you guys think. Can either Brion or Ors take out Ramondino? Also, hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.